I present to you a powerful iron woman, a warhorse, a true daughter of the Lord and of Prophet Jerome. The woman with a new wine skin. And a wine that is more mature than what it was. I present to you the Dean of our Academics Department. Srila Ratna Singham. To carry on the launching of the Hallelujah Bible. Hallelujah Bible. You may be seated. Thank you, Prophet, Pastor Melanie, for this opportunity to share in the historic moment of the glorious church. My heartfelt gratitude to you, Prophet, is just not for this window of opportunity but more so for the very reason why I'm standing here at such a time as this. In January last year, Prophet initiated the academics department as he saw the need for and the importance of the fast-growing church in establishing its sound doctrine and systematic training. And he graciously appointed me as the dean. And God gave me two precious assistants, uh, Kezir Sundar Singh and Aminta Pereira. Together, we make up the academics department. A department of this nature is very rare in any setting of a church and probably is the first of its kind. We at the Glorious Church seem to be treading paths where no one has been before and leaving a track so that others may follow. Amen. Amen. And all this is because of the visionary nature and the far-sightedness of our man of God. Prophet Jerome is resolute on uh, teaching the undiluted word and very committed to rightly dividing the word of truth. So to this end, he commissioned uh, the curriculum to be developed for a uh, two-year syllabus catering to the various homogenous groups in our church. And all the topics and lessons Prophet taught over months on end, and the content, the subject, all aim to teach, to train, to prepare and equip our children in the Sunday school, the youth, the young adults, and the adults for their unique season of growth and also to face challenges and, as, and helping them to live a victorious Christian living. The academics department facilitated the putting together of this curriculum and every lesson in this curriculum is stringently word-based. So I'd like you to join with me as we look at some of the slides of the publications that we have put out. Our children, from the ages of 3 to 13, have a weekly Sunday school lessons on topics from creation story to who is God, who is Jesus, as well as character formation lessons, all crafted to lay a strong foundation 
and instill biblical values from a very tender age. And then we have the next demography of youth from the ages of 14 to 22. And this impressionable age group will engage in topics such as the triune God, spirit, soul, body of man, importance of education, choosing a career, and many more. And of course, for the hyperactive hormones in this age group, we have included a topic whose idea was sex. And I guarantee you that class will be full. The next demography is the young adults. And these are the young adults from the age group of 23 to 40. And we take this, these young adults deeper into the word, and some of the topics discussed are true identity, stewardship, kingdom culture, ethics in the marketplace, and marriage. The other group that we have a two-year syllabus for are for men and women who are above the age of 40, the adults group. And the syllabus constitutes of lessons extracted from the copious messages that Prophet has preached and laser focused on faith, family, Christian walk, and leaving a legacy. The syllabi are informative, instructive, interactive, and it's all about engaging with scripture to engage with God. The academics department also facilitated the Sunday school teacher training and curriculum launch for over 100 of our teachers this February, and the rollout took place in March. And I'm very, very glad and pleased to report to you that we, get, we are getting amazing feedback from all our teachers, the children, and the parents with the curriculum that they are going through from the month of March. And parents, please send your children to the Sunday school. That's the biggest investment you can make in them. And the Bible says, train up your child in the way he should go. He will never depart from it when he's old. So we invite you to, to take advantage of that wonderful curriculum for the children. And also, alongside, we uh, put together the foundation manual for new believers. This was launched in February. And the purpose of this syllabus is to establish every new Christian. And you heard a little while ago, Prophet asked about the number of newcomers who are coming into our church. So we have catered this syllabus to ground them in their faith. Essentially, it's a three-month discipleship program where a mentor is assigned alongside the new believer to walk them through the fundamentals. We also compiled the Faith Line Manual, and it was tailored to assist our telephone assistants in the Faith Line ministry. Daily, they received many calls locally and globally presenting diverse needs. So in this manual, which we have digitally released to all our Faithline assistants, they contain essentially biblical answers to all the frequently asked questions, ranging from topics like addictions, how to deal with aged parents, bondage, depression, divorce, financial crisis, healing, pornography, parenting, and many more. Every advice and counsel that is rendered is diligently word-based and drawn from a comprehensive index that we have put in this Faithline manual so that our telephone assistants can uh, glean through and take from these
this index, which are all scriptures, very carefully divided into instructions and promises. We at the Glorious Church are very, very committed to upholding and believing and teaching only the Word of God undiluted. So throughout the curriculum and the syllabus, we are so focused on having it all scripture-based. And furthermore, we published the training manuals for the New Testament worshiper and the emerging leaders for national and international impact after the respective conferences were held. And we are constantly adding to our resource library. All our publications have already been translated to Singhala and Tamil. And additionally, on top of what Prophet commissioned the curriculum, to cater to the growing need of our church locally and globally, Prophet envisioned a need for expansion. And upon his guidance and instructions, the old studio room in the Park Road premises was renovated into the academic department's studio come office. On the 9th of May this year, when our nation plunged into one of the darkest days in our political history, albeit unknown to us, we had scheduled the opening and dedication of the academic studio that very day. While the nation was plunged in uncertainty and darkness, God shone his beacon of light on the glorious church. And as scheduled, the studio was dedicated. This studio has five different sets or recording points for teaching, preaching, interviews, roundtable talks, all in a compact 260 square feet, well equipped for live recordings with a comfortable office space. When we dedicated the academic department's studio that day on the 9th of May, we were very, very convinced that the Lord is with us and it is another of his endorsement that day. So I'd like to invite you to join me on a tour to the academics department on the video that was recorded on the day the studio was dedicated. Today is a special day for us. We have dedicated the new academics department office. academics department to prepare curriculum a syllabus for the entire global church where if you connect with this ministry you will be given the tools and the skill to build a foundation that's long lasting hello and welcome i'm here at the newly unveiled dedicated academics studio We are in the process of time, looking back and looking ahead. And we give thanks as we dedicate and unveil this monumental location, this place like Bethel, that will constitute, bring together, formulate all the virtues of the spoken word. 
We speak your blessing now, your provision now, your supply now, your attention to every matter now, your wisdom of everything in this academic department and studio. In Jesus' mighty name, from here in Sri Lanka to the rest of the world, let it be so. In Jesus' name, Amen. like the setting up of facilities, office spaces, doing up the curriculum, and all the training programs to bring the wholesome word of God to you was made possible because you gave. I want to thank you partners for being with us, standing with us, and supporting us. And I, I know that you believed in the vision you believed in the man and the mantle that is over the man of God. And you have partnered, partnered with us. And together we have come thus far. But there is much more to be done. Continue to sow your seed in this fertile soil. And together we shall see many more missions made possible. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Are you excited? Yes. 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 <laughs> Let me just give you a little bit of filling on the making of the Bible and do a few acknowledgments and get ready. On the 28th of April, Prophet requested the academics department to put together the Hallelujah Study Bible. Prophet wanted his teachings and impartations to be put in print for his faithful partners. And lessons from, the, from his treasure trove of uh, the in, immense knowledge of the Word of God, wisdom, and the revelation that he's been receiving uh, through the many years and through many hours of studying the scriptures and contemplation in his prayer room, often on bended knees, he commissioned for us to put it together. So the academics department took up this monumental task of compiling, typesetting, and editing and today we raise a hallelujah because his mission's accomplished. Amen. 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 The Hallelujah Study Bible is indeed a landmark publication. And the reason why we say it's a landmark publication, because I know not of a single church or an institution or a man of God, leave alone at the age of 43, accomplish this feat for Christendom. Amen. Hallelujah. You will fully understand the gravity of what I said when you read the Bible. We took this challenge and all the prophets said that get it ready by around October we in the academics department took this challenge and decided to do it one month earlier. And it was purely our desire to honor the man of God who is the source behind this Hallelujah Study Bible and to launch it on his birthday. Mission possible. This is also a legacy, a legacy that will be remembered for generations. Prophet's children, his children's children, our children too, will remember this for a long, long time. That there was a time when you and I were impacted, inspired, and influenced by this man who set his face of flint, stood the test of time, 
and undeterred in his calling poured into our lives week after week, month after month, and year after year. And today, I like to acknowledge a few people who stood with us and made this possible. Yes, it was a lot of hard work because this Bible was essentially put together in two and a half months. And in the norm, a study Bible of this nature would have taken years. Kezia has an infant and Amita has young children, but they poured in hours and together we worked round the clock and pulled it together. And they, they uh, set the entire Bible page after page, typesetting, manually inserting the headers for all 1,149 pages. And all the artwork, the graphics, the designs was done by the academics department. So will Kezia and Amita please stand? I'd like to thank you and honor your church. Let's appreciate them. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We needed extra pairs of eyes to proofread as we were under a lot of time constraints. And we had four precious ladies who patiently worked with us and proofread. I'd like to acknowledge them, Charmaine Madhuri Singha, Pastor Sharon Fernando, Dilki Di Costa, and Vinu Fernando. Will you please stand? We'd like to acknowledge you. Let's appreciate them. Thank you. Thank you. You are deeply appreciated. We are also very thankful to Viran and Rajita from our church family. And it was our privilege to work with Rajita and her team from the famed Gunaratna Printers GTC Express. Rajita was very patient and accommodating and she too joined us to keep our desired launch date. Rajita, you made a difference. Viran and Rajita, would you please stand and we'd like to acknowledge you. Let's appreciate that. Thank you. It is of acute interest to hear what Rajita, the pr our printer, has to say. When everything was concluded and we exchanged our appreciation and gratitude, she said this to me. She said, uh, Auntie, as a printer, I have never had so many meetings for one product. And she said, no client has gone into so many details like you all did. But of course, she's never printed anything like this before. And this was truly one of its kind, and I'm sure she must have felt the same of her clients. We are very thankful to all what you've done. And also, on a lighter vein, she said she was absolutely thrilled to work with all ladies' client when this industry is dominated by the men. I see a lot of men appreciating this. On a more serious note, my experience in this is inexchangeable. You heard a little bit from Prophet a little while ago. Yes, he spent many hours with us. And sometimes into the wee hours of the uh, morning, days and weeks, and he poured out everything from his being. Every topic, every lesson that he imparted to be written was not taken from notes. He never came to any of those meetings with notes. And I was a little nervous. 
no notes and he just shared he spoke as as the holy spirit was just depositing it into his spirit and honestly those of us who were there many times felt if i may use the expression goosebumps and pin drop silence we felt how the disciples may have felt when they sat at the feet of jesus it was inexchangeable <laughs> prophet just poured his heart out and something that just totally captivated me was no notes and he did not even refer to the bible but scriptures were just flowing i'm amazed i have never seen anyone of this capacity and i don't think anyone can even come this close so prophet i salute you for all what you have invested and thank you for trusting us and entrusting us to facilitate the production of the hallelujah study bible i won't say sit back i will say sit up for the moment of truth we shall now unveil the hallelujah study bible by prophet jerome fernando the hallelujah study bible is unlike any other it is unparalleled unmatched and has no peers a truly one of its kind the Hallelujah Study Bible is authored by Prophet Jerome Fernando, the founder president of the Prophet Jerome Fernando Ministries and the Glorious Church, Sri Lanka. Prophet Jerome oversees the fast-growing congregations both locally and globally as he ministers to thousands on 14 different media platforms including the prestigious Daystar TV. Prophet Jerome is a gifted man of God used mightily in the five-fold ministries and he preaches the undiluted Word of God. The Hallelujah Study Bible is the fruition of his intimate journey with the Lord Jesus. This study Bible is in the King James Version and all the words of Jesus recorded in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts and Revelation are red-lettered in a comfort read print and clearly marked out canonically from Genesis to Revelation into a 365-day daily reading plan. And at the end of each week, there is a weekly lesson from the man of God, Prophet Jerome. The detailed index will navigate you through the illustrious Bible. The 52 lessons of Revelation, wisdom and life-transforming truths from the Holy Scriptures are in full-color print and the topics range from a broad spectrum of the favor of God, grace, prophecy, Jesus above all gods, rapture, eternity, heaven and hell, divine guidance, the Christian marriage, overcoming failure, the New Testament consciousness, lasting foundations, and many more relevant and pivotal subjects that will elevate you to a higher and deeper dimension of your journey with the Lord Jesus. Each of the 66 books of the Bible commences with an introductory page of the authorship, dating, background, and theme that brings clarity, perspective, and context as you read the fully inspired and infallible Holy Scriptures. In between the Old and New Testaments, after Malachi closes the Old Covenant and before Matthew lifts the curtain to the New, is a note on the intertestamental period that sheds light on what happened in between the two testaments and fills in the gap of the 400 years of Dark Ages. The annexure of the Hallelujah Study Bible has a wealth of study aid. The glossary contains theological definitions made simple of words we commonly use in Christianity such as what is repentance, justification, sanctification, predestination, atonement, election and others. Understanding genres is a compendium of the different styles of writing we read in the Holy Bible, namely the historical narrative, law, poetry, wisdom literature, prophecy, gospels and epistles. 
Each genre has concise interpretive guidelines that will help you interpret the Bible contextually and accurately. Catch a glimpse of the history of the Old and New Testaments in a single timeline that spans through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, from BC to AD, and the markings of the end times. The final pages recount the chronicle of Prophet Jerome Fernando Ministries in multicolored brushstrokes of how it all began to where the ministry is today. An informative read that traces the inception from Mount Lavinia to the city of the Miracle Dome and to the nations of the world where the name of Jesus is lifted like a banner in the sky. The Hallelujah Study Bible, the best way to read the Bible by Prophet Jerome Fernando, more than just words. The Advanced Mentorship Program, a life-changing opportunity to be mentored by the man of God, Prophet Jerome Fernando himself. Make a decision you won't regret. Join the new intake. Visit www.timetosoar.org slash amp. Register now. Limited seats available. For more information, contact Pastor Stefan on 94773130796 or the Faith Line at 9411-777-4877. Advanced Mentorship Program. Amp your life.